I understood that I needed to surround myself by people that are very successful because I wanted to be successful. Leave the, the corner alone, quit hanging out in the corner, and hang out with people that have been very successful. My name is Richard Lopez. I am a supervisor for the mailroom. I handled a couple of contracts with the state of Texas. But this is my third time back with Goodwill. I uh, started in the early 80s. I got uh, training here, but of course, I had gotten myself in a little trouble. I started my addiction when I was like 9 and 10, 12 years old uh, with cigarettes, and then of course, uh, went uh, to stronger things after that. It was just, you know, what other people were doing and we followed in that same lifestyle. And I looked at my children and they were getting older and they were starting to understand that we weren't there for them 100%. One morning after about the three, four day binge, my wife and I was about 4.30, 5 in the morning just crying and uh, just wishing that things could be dr different. I started looking for work and uh, I went through about 16 jobs before I landed back at Goodwill again. The opportunity with Goodwill came along and that made a, a lot of difference in our lives. I've heard a lot of uh, things about Richard and his challenges about work and so we talked and we got to know each other. He took a look at me and he saw something. I was like a piece of clay and he was just there working with me every day. We're, we're not just building a business, we're building a relationship. Melvin is there day, he's there at night, he's there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Richard has worked very hard to set an example of breaking the cycle of poverty, uh, the cycle of drugs, uh, he's worked very hard to set the example that, you know, that's not the road he wants his family to follow. One of the greatest points of my life here at Goodwill, when I was given the opportunity to lead our mailroom, I was just part of the assembly line when I first started in the mailroom here. He comes home and I get the impression that he feels like he's accomplished something for the day. He's, that's where I've seen him ground his feet at, where he, you know, this is what he wants to do, this is where he wants to stay. It gave him the strength he needed to take care of his family. I would describe my dad as a hard-working person that tries to reach for his goals that he has in mind. I don't do a lot of this for just a paycheck. I do this because I want to set the example to my family to my kids, my friends. I don't want to be judged as someone that, uh, from my past and things that I've done. I like being judged for what I can bring to the table uh, on uh, my loyalty, my commitment, my, my aunts, my uncles, my parents, my cousins. They're very happy and proud of me and they see me in a different light. It's helped us uh, go to a different level, a little bit higher. And I'm ready to accept that challenge. I'm ready to move forward and, and accept the, the more of the uh, opportunities that I'm, I know are gonna come our way.